What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to decloak hidden Wi-Fi access points. Main reason I'm making this video is because I just finished doing the WPA2, uh, Kraken WPA2 PSK video. And I've noticed that before when I do like a lot of Wi-Fi stuff, I noticed that many people think that they're secure because they set their uh, Wi-Fi access point SSID to hidden. And I always find hidden networks, hidden wireless networks that are open, that don't require a password only because they're hidden. So they think, okay, so if the person doesn't have the name of my wireless network, then they obviously can't access my wireless network. Even though that is partially true, uh, it's very easy for an attacker to be able to get the name of that wireless network. And I'm gonna show you here in this video, stay tuned. So here is my wireless router and most wireless routers have this option here hide ssid and most people think that okay i check this box it's secure um i can sometimes leave my network open because no one will ever be able to find out because it's hidden but in today's video we're gonna find that out can we discover this ssid even though it's set to hidden all right so a way that we can identify the name of a wireless network, a hidden wireless network, is through probe requests. So let's say, for example, there is a device that is connected to one of these hidden wireless networks, right? And let's say ID DAUTH, ID of that device is connected to that hidden wireless network. As it tries to connect back to that hidden wireless network, it sends what's called a probe request. And in that probe request contains the name of that hidden SSID. So as long as I capture that probe request that's in between that, I myself will be able to get the name of that SSID. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go into monitor mode. Start WLAN zero. W config. See that it is in monitor mode. Let's do air dump. Dash ng. WLN zero mon. And usually with these hidden, uh, hidden wireless access point ESSIDs, we see like this. It'll say length, so it would know the length of something initially. And that's how we can determine that, okay, so this is just a hidden network. And so that's basically what we're going to go after. So now let's listen specifically on that one. Air dump ng WLAN 0 mon channel 6 dash dash BSSID. Get you. Oops. Paste the BSSID there. And then run it. And we also see here that there is one device that is actually connected to this hidden wireless network. As soon as we go ahead and deauth this, we should be able to catch that probe request as it tries to connect back to this hidden Wi-Fi network. Because this is how our devices work, right? Every time we disconnect from something, our phones are always screaming out names. They're screaming out all the wireless access points that it knows of to try and connect to somebody. And so if once it does pick up something, it'll connect to it automatically. So this is why whenever you get home or you go to your work or your job or wherever else and uh, you just walk in, as long as you've signed into that Wi-Fi network before, as soon as you walk in again, you automatically connect, right? You just, it's connected. Like you don't always have to go into your settings and then click, okay, which Wi-Fi network? And then you got to press it every time. I mean, though most cell phones have, or smartphones, have this little option in settings to be like you know auto reconnect you can turn it on or turn it off but for most phones it's always on and so your phones are always screaming out those names and so that's why attacks like this end up working let's get the mac address of this client that's connected so we're just going to note that down and let's just get the bssid as well Okay, and now we're just going to go ahead and use AirPlay like before. Let's just clear this. AirPlay dash ng dash zero five dash a. I want to put the 
access point MAC address in there. And then the client MAC address. And then the device and the interface that we want to use this with. So WLAN zero mon. And now we send the deauthentication packets. Well, the authentication requests, which are reset packets. And now we're able to see the hidden name. You found me. So it's just like that. It's literally that easy. And this mainly also, like I said, abuses the fact that devices always try to reconnect to previously connected wireless access points and branching off of devices already trying to reconnect to devices that they think they know this is where evil twin attacks could also come in right um it's basically an attack where i create another access point that has the same exact same ssid so let's say if your home network ssid was uh family one two three Okay, let's say it feels family one, two, three. And then I set up my own evil twin, so to speak, that has the exact same SSID, so my own wireless network that's just called family one, two, three. And then I end up de authing everyone that's on the original family one, two, three, like your own home network. Your phone's gonna automatically connect to my uh, evil twin network because only because it has the exact same SSID, it doesn't have to have the exact same MAC address. Like phones, they don't care about that, right? Your devices, your laptops, they don't care about that. They're just looking for that SSID. If that name has that SSID, if I'm familiar with it, then I'm gonna try and connect to it. Uh, it's a lot that can go into, oh, look at that. We've also caught the WPA handshake. <laughs> don't rely solely on thinking that, oh, because I've set my SSID to hidden, I'm fully protected from every single type of attacker. Please don't. If you're gonna use this, then also make sure that you implement a good passphrase because something like this, it's not enough to stop an attacker. Trust me, <laughs> it's not enough. And the amount of times I've seen just with a network that's hidden and it's just open, like the wireless network is set as open, so it doesn't require a password at all. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you enjoy this content, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.